welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon. I'm excited to show you how my husband created this DIY fireplace wall. It's absolutely amazing and guys, I can't wait to get into this. But the first thing you're going to need is just map out with the level of stud finder and blue tape, painter's tape, where or what you want or where you want your TV and fireplace insert to be placed and also the size that you want as far as the height, the depth and the width. We wanted it to be um, nine foot, that's our ceilings from floor to ceiling. And we couldn't find 10 foot uh, two by fours to frame it out. So we went with the eight foot two by fours and we just built a box. But guys, before I get into details, I got to show you this Craig pocket hole jig is such a time saver. It's invaluable. So I would definitely say pick one of those up if you're going to take on a project like this. So because we have nine foot ceilings at eight foot two by fours, we went ahead and we basically built out a box. We, my husband cut off the baseboard and built the one foot box first just to make up the difference with those eight foot two by fours. And then we framed out the rest of it. We also made sure that you have a stud finder to be able to have this in place and not have it move around or go anywhere. And we pre-cut a lot of pieces to do the framing out supporting of the walls. The first thing we're going to do besides building that one foot um, box on the bottom, we're also going to be building everything in place and instead of building it out and then bringing it to the location. So that's why we pre-cut the wood and we'll be building out the walls first. Now, the one thing I would say is make sure that you have um, where you want your TV to be, where you want your fireplace insert to be. I knew we wanted it to be a foot off of the ground. We also had, when the home was built a, a little over a year ago, our electrical outlets already in place. We told the builder, he put them down a little bit low. We wanted one low, a couple of them a little bit higher. We didn't want wires sticking out everywhere. And in lieu of having to figure out where to hide my cable box, I went wireless and downloaded the app and it works just perfect. So that's just an FYI if you don't want to have to deal with that. So guys, this is what we're looking like. We're all set and um, we're going to also have a small access panel on the side to be able to get in and access any outlets if we need to in the future. Here we're going to already, you can see we put in those pieces that were pre-cut and made this side of the wall. Um, not only did we mount it to the studs in the wall, but we did it for the studs in the ceiling also because we don't want this going anywhere. It's going to be very, very heavy. We also took the time to make sure that when before we built the top part of the box for framing out the fireplace insert, we made sure that not only did it fit, but we wanted it to be a little bit snug. It's better to measure three times for cutting wood and then cut once, as they say, measure three times, cut once. So true. And as you can see, our pocket hole Craig jig is working perfect. So we added in a few more of these pieces for support, went ahead and framed out around the fireplace before removing it again, because you definitely want to just keep fitting that to make sure it's not too big or too small you want it to be nice and snug we're adding in a little bit more of these supports here we can see we pre-drilled with our Craig hole uh, Craig jig and guys like I said that is the best decision we ever made <laughs> you also want to make sure that you use screws instead of nails and I'm going to show you something really quick for our TV mount your TV mount is based on the size of the TV that you have in the weight. We're adding in four of these to make sure that we're our um, template that they gave us for the TV mount to match it up to the beams that we'll be attaching it to. And this is what it looks like. I know it looks like a lot, but I wanted to make sure that the TV was going to be secure. Our next step is we're going to be using our cement board to add to our frame that we framed out. And the way you cut this is you get one of these tools that they sell in any big box store and you score it and then you bend it and it snaps quick and easy absolutely loved it but we did make sure that we use some cement screws to screw this into place into the wood that's very important 
This went really quickly guys and we're using cement board instead of just a regular drywall because in the future if I and that's the access panel rather that piece that's cut out there so we can access the outlets but in the future if I want to go back and maybe add brick or stone or a tile it's already set up for that so I'm thinking ahead with adding the cement board versus just adding in a regular drywall or a drywall that can be used for like a shower or adding that wet cement and that way it's already done and we're just using this and framing out all of the cement board around where the insert will be placed for the fireplace and also the TV and this went sort of quickly the other thing you're gonna need is some drywall tape for the seams my husband made sure that he stayed staggered all the seams while he was doing this and also you could see the chalk marks on the cement board where just showing us showing him where the beams are for when he adds the TV mount next step is after we got all of these in place I went and added on the drywall tape really simple just press it on over the seam and then you'll be all ready to go ahead and add on your quick dry cement if that's what you'll be using which is what we used so when you get a quick dry cement, you can go with the regular one where you get the big bag. It turns out a little bit industrial looking. It's very, very gray tones. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. But by watching so many videos, I figured out that you can get one that has more of a, a brown or tan tone undertone to just that gray. And I love the effect. Right here, you can see that we're mixing it. Make sure you get one of those um, cement mixers. You could add it to your regular um, drill, electrical drill. And it's very simple. And then you're going to need a trowel. And you're also going to need um, this about, about a five um five pound i'm sorry a five gallon bucket and you're just going to trowel it on we did about two coats at a 45 degree angle we went back after it dried my husband sanded it down and then he added in the insert and you can see here he put the tv mount on and guys we're all ready to go he's just wiping down and cleaning it up and i think this turned out amazing now I will leave all of the information for the fireplace insert that we use in some of these other materials in the description bar below and I have to show you how gorgeous this is now in the meantime we didn't know how what design we wanted for it, some built-ins on the side which we will do in the future but for now I went with getting a rattan credenza that's fitting that space perfectly. I got one of my mother's pictures that I adore and um, I inherited from her and I just put that on top. On the other side, we have this beautiful bench that we've had for years. I added in some botanical pictures for a small design and guys, I think it looks great. Now this fireplace insert is perfect. It has heat, but we're not using it for that. But you can change the colors and it also comes with crystals or you can use the little logs that we have here and we chose to go with the logs. But I love the way you, the way you can change the colors on it and um, I, it looks absolutely amazing. Amazing. I just did a little bit of decorating as you can see here and um, that's what we're going with now until we decide maybe in a year or so of how we want to do built-ins but I absolutely love the way it looks right now so guys I'll leave this fireplace insert in the description bar below if you're interested but I absolutely love the way this turned out I hope you do too if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps my channel out so much and also hit the bell twice when you subscribe so you'll know whenever I upload a new video I'll be coming back with how I decorated this area for the fall and also some more fall decorating with my kitchen and such so I can't wait to show you all of that and guys I just want to thank you all for watching until the end and I'll see you guys in the next video